but Nancy, my kitchen is white. I can't extract palm fruit in my white kitchen. You guys, get in here. Let me show you how I extracted 10 kilograms of palm fruit that I got from my father's farm in less than one hour. You guys, I came back from work. I made sure I didn't even undress. I just went ahead and started because I'm just going to show you how easy this is. You need your plastic blade of your food processor do not use the metal blade if you do not want to say goodbye to your processor okay plastic blade it is this is a 10 year old Murphy Richards this thing is older than my children okay so I respect my food processor because I don't destroy it by doing things that I know it cannot do so what you need to do is add some water to your extract your extract should be washed already oh please <clears throat> add the water in fact you even want to fill up another kettle with water because you need hot water to extract the palm fruit you know it's cooked when you press it and it's nice and soft that's how you know it's ready to be extracted now bring it out you can leave it in a pot until you're ready to process it now proceed to add your palm fruit to your food processor do not overfill because it will be very hard to process if your food processor is so full in fact it will even spill so you want to be very careful you have to add water eventually uh, so that it can fasten the entire process now you will stop when the flesh is really out of the kernel and you can physically see the black, you know, seeds or will I say the actual kernels. Stop when you can see the black kernels, okay? If you don't see the black kernels, don't stop because it means that the uh, fruit is still stuck on the body, okay? That's what the plastic blade does. It takes out all the flesh from the actual kernels. So, you know, this is with the water of what I have left from that first pot and i have everything that was processed in this big bowl now the next stage is to add some hot water and i'm just going to go in with a spoon because i'm showing you two methods here this is the hands-free method where you use your spoon and you use bowls as if you don't want the the palm fruit to touch your hands this is the method you would use okay this method is not very efficient in extracting the juice because you still have a lot you need to use your hands and then just get in there and then just squeeze but i'm just showing you that if you don't want to use your hands and you don't have gloves you can actually still extract your palm fruit from the kennels so that's it with that method the next method is the ideal method where you're going with your hands you know you pour some hot water it doesn't have to be so hot if you're not used to doing this please please dilute that hot water with some cold water before you go in okay it doesn't have to be very very hot okay normal warm water can actually still extract the palm fruit now get in there with your hands squeeze and squeeze until you remove every single flesh from the kennel and then you're left to the shaft and just the kennel. You see that thing in the pot? I'm still going to extract some <laughs> extract from it. Okay? Now, when you're done doing that, pour the extract into a sieve and sieve into, into a bowl. You're going to be left with a little bit of shaft. You can still go back and extract some uh, extract from that place. Why do I keep saying extract some extract? Anyways, this is how I do it. Guys, let me know. If you have any questions in the comment section, I want you guys to do it yourself because you know exactly what is in your extract when you do it at home.